Hey everyone, so I have two 11 inch devices here, two 11 inch budget devices here. We have the Amazon Fire Max 11 on the left, of course it is Amazon's brand. Then on the right here we have the ON, O-N-N, -N, Surf Pro 11, which is Walmart's brand. Uh, so both of these are actually pretty decent devices for being budget tablets here. With the ON actually being cheaper than the Amazon, I uh, want they're both at full retail pricing. Let's see if we can get in here. We'll flip these two around. And you guys can tell me which one you like better. Uh, again, they almost look, they look very, very similar here. Both have these big cutouts here. Both have protruding cameras. Of course, Amazon gives you the smile on it. Gives you a nice smile. My lighting does not like it. Uh, the on says on here. So, I mean, they look almost identical. Then, as far as what we get, starting with the on, you get a front facing camera, of course. You get your power button, you get your volume rocker. You also get the external storage right there. If you want to put in a micro SD card, you get a mic, you get a headphone jack, you get one speaker there, USB Type C charging, nice and smooth. And then you have your other speaker right here. And again, you get that front, or that back camera, excuse me, that back camera. Both of these are very much fingerprint magnets, but they do both wipe off nice and easy. The Amazon here gets you a front facing camera right there. Oh, it's very hard to see. You also do get dual speakers. They're both on the same, uh, same panel on the tablet. Both are on, I'm just gonna call this the top. So you have one right there, one right there. You of course get Power button, volume rocker, USB Type-C for charging, mics, and then the expandable storage right there. Again, micro SD. You also get for their keyboard. You actually do have this spot here for the keyboard if you wanted to buy that. And then smooth. And again, you also get the camera right there. Neither of these seem to have the tap to wake, which is quite a shame. Y'all let me know which one you like better in the comments below based on looks. Like I said, I think they're both pretty similar, almost look the same. Of course, when you go onto them, they do look very, very different. The On is running almost stack Android, whereas the Amazon is running Fire OS, which is a skin of Android. Uh, and of course, with Amazon Fire devices, you do not get Google Play Store on them, whereas with the On, you do, of course, Google Play Store on them. For the Amazon, you have to kind of sideload it. You have to get it on there. You have to download it yourself. Uh, and hopefully it'll work for you. It doesn't always work for everybody for some reason. Uh, so that is one big thing to note. And if you do not get that, you get the the Amazon App Store, which is terrible. Uh, it doesn't even have a like, YouTube app on it, like the official YouTube app on it. It's, it's really bad. Uh, so you definitely want to download Google Play Store if you get the Amazon, and that's any Amazon Fire device. Uh, again, on comes with that. Both of these are running MediaTek processors. I don't know what it is on the on, uh, but they do both have MediaTek processors. It's very hard to find information on this tablet. Both of them do have four gigabytes of RAM as well. And again, both of these are 11 inch devices. And again, I think they both look really nice. Do a quick speed browsing test here, going to Best Buy.com. Both have been cleared out of their histories. Both are of course hooked up to my home Wi-Fi here. And we'll see which one loads in faster. Again, these are both budget tablets and they are actually rather good. Uh, Best Buy, usually on budget tablets, takes a bit to load in. And you can see how much faster these two are uh, than other budget tablets, even other Amazon Fire tablets or other on tablets here. Uh, one thing I do want to note though is, you can probably tell in this video, this is a lot more of a bluish hue to it. This is a lot more of a, well, a normal looking hue. Uh, for some reason, the on is quite blue. I don't know why that is. Uh, it is how it is in real life. If you do not have this next to another tablet, you probably would not notice it, but it is something to note. This is quite blue. So personally, I do prefer the colorations on the Amazon. Something, again, something just to note there, but both do look pretty good. Just Amazon, to me, it looks a bit better. And we'll go on to this, but you can see here, for most part of the on is actually a little bit faster than the Amazon tablet is. Than the Amazon Fire Max. So we'll go into that first uh, first laptop here. 
And of course, when I say that, this one, of course, decides to load in faster. Again, they're both really good for being budget tablets. Again, like sometimes I will be faster, sometimes Amazon will be faster, but I think for the most part, my testing on has been a little bit faster uh, loading in most things, at least for internet browsing speed wise. Do one more quick website here. Let's go to like Apple's website for apple.com. Apple. Try that again. Apple.com. One, two, and three. So both are very good for regular web browsing. Do like a quick Roblox comparison here. Uh, as I know, people will be buying these for their kids to play Roblox on. And you see, on is going to be a little bit faster loading in. Actually, quite a bit faster this time around. And we'll do some Caillou Universe. I think how you say that. I'm just going to put it into Max Graphics here, as you can see there. Go ahead and hit play. We'll get rid of that real fast. We're going to Tokyo. This is on the Fire. This is the Amazon Fire Max. Hope you all can see the smiley face there. Let's turn that down before the copyright infringements. Zoom on out because that's way too close. It looks nice. I mean, this actually looks rather good. And you can see there's really not much lag. Everything is kind of in where it should be. Do a bit of attack here. Now I'm also getting attacked, of course. Dude, leave me alone. Seems like the explosions look nice and good. Uh, it just, it works. Except for this guy who's attacking me for no reason. Um, again, you can see there's maybe a tiny, tiny hint of lag, but definitely playable. And then we have the on here. Uh, so again, max graphics here. From the little bit of information I could find in their specs, someone said that the Fire actually has a little bit of a better uh, GPU than the on. So we'll see how it does here with, again, KU, KU Universe here in Roblox. And also to remember that this is also a little bit cheaper than the Fire. Uh, so our guy is spawning in there a little bit oddly, but and yes, I can notice there is a little bit of a lag, a bit more than there was on the Fire. But I mean, this is a decently graphic game, graphically intensive game on Roblox here. And you can see, I mean, it, it's more than playable again. Now, if you are somebody who's going to be playing these games for hours, you, they might get a little bit hot. They might not work as well over time. I've never played more than, you know, 20 minutes at a time, 30 minutes at a time. Uh, so if you're playing for hours at a time, you might have some issues. But for the most part, they both play very, very well. Last, we will do a quick speaker test here on YouTube. Again, this is Amazon, so you have a speaker right here and a speaker right there. Turn that on up all the way. So it does sound good. It's not going to be the loudest tablet out there, but it does sound actually decently good. I uh, don't really have too, too many complaints about it, except for I wish it was maybe a little bit louder. Uh, then for the on, we have a speaker right there and a speaker right there. So different setup of, uh, of speaker placement, if I can talk. Uh, so again, volume is up all the way. We're doing the same song, the same starting spot about almost 20 seconds in. So again, it sounds very, very similar to what the Amazon sounds. Uh, honestly, I don't know if there's much of a difference in sound quality or sound uh, loudness to it. They both sound really, really good. So I think really what it comes down to is would you rather have an Amazon or would you rather have the on? Uh, and then two, do you want to bother with getting 
the Google Play Store or would you rather just have it out of the box? Uh, as well as, again, the On is actually a little bit cheaper than than the uh, Amazon. So, all in all, they are very, very similar to each other. I mean, honestly, I don't know which one is better. Uh, I would say be based on, again, Google Play Store and pricing-wise, On is actually the better buy here. Uh, now, long-term quality, I do not know about On, uh, but I do know Amazon, at least in my experience, has been very, very good for long-term quality uh, on I don't know I mean that is Walmart's brand so hopefully it's good but I really do, cannot comment on that uh, you all let me know which one you would choose yeah I think for my money I would actually choose the on or at least wait for the Amazon to go on sale because they do go on sale usually quite often uh, being Amazon but yeah you all let me know what you think thank you all for watching hope you have a good one I'll see you next time goodbye